Hey, how's it going? My name is Cole Zorb, and today I will be teaching you guys how to grip your own skateboard. Please keep in mind before we start this video that this is not the only way to grip a skateboard. This is just what works best for me. The materials you'll need for this process are a razor blade, which cuts the grip tape, a screwdriver, which files down the grip tape, and some Allen keys, which I'm just using to poke the holes in the grip tape at the end. And then of course, your skateboard. This I got from my sponsor, Funky Threads. And you'll need your grip tape. Mob grip. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is put this sticker right in this hole. I'm gonna peel off the grip tape. It should peel off very easy. I'm gonna lay it to the side I want. Take my sticker and try to match it up. First we gotta realize which is the nose and which is the tail. Nose, tail. I'm gonna put this on so the sticker's on the tail. So first thing I do, I just put it on the nose and the tail really lightly. And then I'll go straight from the middle. Start pressing it down very carefully. And press down hard so you don't get any air bubbles in your grip tape. Not too hard though, because you will be going over it again. You want to keep pressing down from the middle of the board to the tail. Same with the nose. Next, you're going to take your sheet of mob grip tape here, lay it over top of your original grip tape, and press down to eliminate all air bubbles. Do it a couple times in a row, just to make sure there's none. Then take your screwdriver and start filing down the edges. Before you start cutting with your razor blade, you want to make sure your grip tape isn't hanging over off the edge like this. That just makes for a cleaner cut when it's up like that. Some people make small incisions here at the nose and the tail, but that's just if you want more or less to cut. It's really up to you. You're going to get it started off by just digging in there and then starting with a few up and down motions and then it'll just start cutting itself. You always want the board to be facing away from you just so you don't slice your your face open or something. This is when those incisions at the nose and tail become handy because if you make an incision right here that's where your grip tape will get cut off. You want to keep going nice and slow around the nose and I usually have one hand holding the grip and then the other hand's cutting and my razor is usually on an edge, like not straight and not flat, but on just a little edge to get a nice cut. Once you come around the nose, you wanna flip your skateboard over so it's facing away from you again. And we're just gonna continue along. The more you file down your grip tape at the start, the easier it be to cut once you start going. It just makes the grip tape a little thinner. You want to keep these parts for afterwards. We're going to use them to sand down the corners or the edges. Now we're going to take those little pieces of grip tape we saved and sand down the edges. I kind of have this superstition about if you sand down the edges of your board, then the grip tape won't peel up when you first start skating it. My grip tape peeled up on me one time and ever since then I've just been sanding down the edges and it's been working ever since. So you just get right in there with those grip tape pieces, sand down the edges. Keep doing this until it's fully done. You see a white mark around the edges everywhere. The 
final step is to take your Allen key and poke it right through. And then go on the back, find the same spot, poke it through the other way. Keep doing that. I just like doing it this way because it's kind of like a guessing game. Uh, I did it the full way there. Anyways, you just kind of see where it is and then finish the rest yourself. Keep doing that. Or you can just poke it fully through. Really doesn't matter. Just finish up the last holes. Should be good to go. All right, so here's the finished product. Nice and gripped. If you guys would like one of these funky thread skateboards, I'll be posting a link in the description below of how to get one. Thanks for watching my video of how to grip a skateboard. If you learned something today, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment below of what you would like to see next, what you'd like to learn, what kind of videos you'd like to see. Please just let me know so I can do it for you guys. Have a great day.